Hello everyone, this is Beth Brownell speaking with Adonis and Jasmine. I am a, just about ready to let them out after a long day in the paddock for their wait home. Go babies, go! Go babies! Okay, we're facing the sun, so they're in the door. They're shaded. Usually they go running as soon as I get them out. <sighs> Come on, you two. Okay, I'm going to just have to follow them about. <sighs> I'm following them. Come on, babies. They're just going to mosey on around the pasture like they usually do. This is what they do when they, well, not usually when they get out in the pasture. They usually just immediately start bucking and racing off. <sighs> well, as you can see, part of the pasture is fenced just a wee bit from uh, this persimmons tree and they have stopped to graze and here is a big tree that got hit by lightning still surviving though damaged and oh what's this a grave yes the grave marker of my 35 year old furbred gelding that I owned long time ago. He's no longer with us. And yes, his name is Man of War. Because I named him that because he was a fighter. He fought for his life most of his life. He was an abandoned horse that lived on our property in uh, Fulton, Missouri. We uh, we got him, and we uh, I took care of him for the for the rest of his life. Lost him due to complications of old age. Now let's go and view the uh, house. Yes, this is our home. It's a three-story house with five yes five garages. Three of them are in use, well, actually two of them are in use for two of our vehicles. As soon as I learn how to drive, I'll get my vehicle and it will be a three car, an active three car garage. More of the paddock. And the barn. It's a two stall barn. Huge stalls. Automatic water in the middle of the stalls so both horses have access to it. And let's do a little more viewing of the pasture. This is what the horses deal with every day. Now that the sun is in this direction, I'm not going to go any further to the left because if I do, well, I'll show you. Hello, son. And in the back is our other pasture, which I've blocked off for the time being. And uh, let's go walking a little. Just a little because... The ground we are approaching right here holds the remains of my old, my 32-year-old quarter horse mare, Orion Starbright. She died of severe complications of colic. Poor girl, I loved her very much. And I got Jasmine a few days after her after we lost her, because Adonis was 
the best friend and to uh, not have a friend for Adonis during that time would have caused him to have another uh, flare up of laminitis and it was actually requested by my, my vet who told me to go get a, a friend for Adonis as soon as possible or the laminitis will flare up. But he's doing wonderfully now. Adonis is doing great. So, I will span, pan over to the house one more time. And this is Beth Brownell in the pasture with Jasmine and Adonis. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.